Pickens. And today we have Asher with us. And Asher has uh, built a project here to measure weight. And the goal of this project was to take the, the most simple components we could use and come up with something that would be a scale that would have about one gram resolution. So I have a half bridge here using micro measurement strain gauges. And that is completed with these VPG very accurate foil resistors. 0.01%, I believe, and temperature stable. And that feeds into this quick scale which you can order online. I got this from SparkFun. Uh, and that goes into this red board with 24-bit digital conversion. And that should be displayed on this LCD monitor. So we'll run through a calibration cycle uh, on this and get it reading, because I know right now we'll talk about some of the things that could make this more stable in the future. Uh, just to say a couple of things here, uh, this quick scale is 24 bit resolution. So it takes the analog input, a uh, very small voltage signal from the Wheatstone bridge, provides excitation to the bridge and does the A to D conversion. And like I said, it's 24 bit. And of course that's going direct into the uh, breadboard. And we've got an LCD, dis LCD display to show our results. Asher's got some code here. We could run a, a cycle here where we zero the scale and provide a calibration. What, what weight are you using there? Uh, this is one kilogram. One kilogram. Okay. And okay. that should be we get, calibrated. We're getting about uh, a thousand on the scale. But uh, yeah, if you pull that off, it, it'll go back to zero or near zero. And if you put it back on, then it'll continue its reading. So it has good returns. Bouncing a little bit. So let's talk about some of the things that affect the stability and accuracy of this. These components are all available uh, online, basically. You can order strain gauges for micro measurements. Um, precision resistors from VPG. And by the way, those do need to be some precision resistors because if you try to use a carbon resistor, uh, it, it will drift all over. You would really not even be able to resolve probably a half a kilogram if you tried it with uh, carbon resistors. Uh, the, the other thing about this scale is when you calibrate it, you might have noticed we were trying to stabilize it. That That's very important. You got you to gotta let the bounce settle down before you do that and also we're using a breadboard now the the signal that's coming out of this bridge we're talking micro volts so any if we touch these right here at all it's probably going to totally change what's showing on the scale um, what's an improvement you could do for that uh probably use some welded connections to make it more stable right solder everything down within the bridge uh, i'm sure that would help quite a bit in fact it would be uh, kind of interesting to try that and see what we get Okay, thanks Asher. Thank you.